hello guys uh, so in this video i would like to walk you through my personal experience over the past two years on dipping i've been using dipping primarily as my main operating system for the past two years and in this video i would like to give you or share what my experience has been now uh dipping is 20 years old and we are all happy about that yeah they are going to be 20 years on the 21st of december so um one of the main features of dipping over the two years my two years on dipping that i love uh that has i've seen a lot of improvements on has to be with your community engagement primarily on telegram and on uh, on discord i think they are on discord i don't really i've not really joined them on discord and the engage the community engagement has seen a lot of improvement and that has been really really um uh, impactful and helpful another good thing about dipping 23 or dipping over the years has been that they are seamlessly right out of the bus drivers are installed for you and everything works great unlike some system and when you have old um, or you have Chinese or you have some kind of hardware you face a lot of difficulty getting drivers for them the, that is not the case on dipping it just works out of the box and one of my very favorite feature on dipping that I normally don't get on Windows is when you are using mon multiple monitors uh, you have brightness control for each and every one of them and that is super 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 amazing so uh, Another feature that I love a lot has to do with their pre-built application, their pre-installed applications. And out of the box, you have most of the applications that you need and you can install more if you want. And they are, these days, they, the applications are quick, they are well-maintained. And one of the apps that I would say that you should look out for has to do with the um. Yeah, so it has to do with this wine runner application. It has to do with wine runner, wine runner, this application here. And it's trying to put, um, allow users to be able to run Windows application right only. It's, and it's one of the, is one of the apps that I'm really, really looking up to because I think, well, with this feature, it's going to make it so super awesome to stick to windows to uh, deepen alone for a very long period of time and yeah you should look out for this application it's still in development and most of the tests are in chinese but hopefully soon uh we'll get it in english and that will be awesome and another thing has to do with your screen recording tools these tools are so amazing they let you record your screen and uh, they come right out of the box you don't really have to do any installations to have them so have eye control that allows you to change the team and all of these things come out of the box and is amazing now dipping does have a number of areas that i uh, i want uh, that i think needs improvement so one of them has to do with the persistent chrome uh, notification that pops up when you have google chrome installed and uh, every time even with notification turn off it keeps you still keep seeing the notification popping up on your screen another one has to do with uh, limited app availability yeah well there are still some apps that are missing in the app store like docker well you can still i install them from other package uh, distributions and it works great it also comes along with uh they can download the updates directly or you can even use flat pack to to bypass those limitations another thing another issue has to do with non-functional hot corners so if you don't know what hot corners are uh we put yeah you can move your mouse to the very far corner of your of your um desktop and usually when you do it it opens the motif task view this way and it's very very helpful especially when you have um when you are working on uh, multiple screens and you need to switch between things quickly and that functionality used to be part of dipping in the early years but now it's no more there and we'll be so grateful if you can come back another thing has to do with lack of recovery to um 
system recovery tools for example if you have an issue and you want to maybe migrate your operating system to another one well there is very little instruction on how to do that or maybe you just want to recover your grab on some other distributions they have uh, these recovery tools where you just log in uh, you just put a live usb drive and becomes easier to just recover your a zero but that doesn't work in deepin so so far those are my thoughts on deepin if you have any other specific thoughts or anything uh, you have wanted me to talk about you can leave them in the comments this channel is still very new and i'll be very grateful for your likes and for your subscription don't forget to subscribe all right see you in the next one bye bye